Um, I thought you might want to see how to do this in case you wanted to try this this way. I don't know if this is going to be of any help, and I have way more stuff on here than I need. Um, maybe, do I have, a, okay, I have a new one open. So here is what I have figured out when you want to type. You, If you want to type a hyperbola, it has to be in standard form. Like, it can't be written like fractions. So that's what I've been using Wolfram Alpha to do. Like, this was the equation that I wanted. So I just typed it in and had it change to this equation right here. And that is what then I put into GeoGebra. So like 65x squared, whoops, no, it's right away, minus 16y squared equals 50336000. Okay. So there's that one. And then here is what I have figured out so far as far as like commands, okay? So if you want to have the foci on there, you can say focus and it pops up that operation for a conic. You have to use the name up here that it is. So I just call that C and then it plots my foci there. Sorry, the dogs are wrestling. Um, if you wanted it to plot the center, you can do the same thing, center, conic, name it what you want. Um, so then if you want to rotate, you can type rotate and you get this object at an angle. Um, and this is where I'm not really sure. I've been playing around with both of these two, like rotating it about the origin or rotating it just some amount. And sometimes it's giving me the same, sometimes it's not. So there's definitely a difference between the two. So I would maybe try this one just to be safe. So let's say that I want to rotate this. Well, okay. Let's translate it first because, well, no. We said rotate first. But see, here is why I think we want to translate it first and then rotate it. Because if I want A to be at 0, 0, I think I need to translate it over first. So, because I want it to stay there. So if I say translate, oh, I forgot. We have to give it a vector first. So right now, A is at negative 1980, I think, and I want it to move to zero. Oh, yeah, it is. It says it right up here. So I need a vector, and I want it to go to, um, I want it to move over 1980 and up none. Oh, what did I do? Oh, because I need parentheses in there. Forgot. It's supposed to look like a point. Okay, so now you can see where U is going to take that, and you can turn this off because we don't need that well in our picture. Um, but so now I can say translate the object, which I want to translate C, and I want to translate it by vector U, and now you can see it slides it over. So if I turn my first one, well, we can hit enter. So C was the first one. Why are you doing that? C was the first one, and now C prime is moved over there. And now if I want to rotate it, this is where I think we want to use this next one because I want it to rotate about the origin, not about the center. So I can now say that I want to rotate C prime. I want to rotate that one. This is, I think, my graph from A to C. So this one I need to rotate negative 45 degrees around the point zero, zero. And now I get that. And so I can, why does it keep doing that? I can turn that one off and it goes back to here. And now if I want to see the foci on there, I can say the foci of C prime prime and it plots those. So now you can see I'm still at zero, zero. So that's A, C, I think. And so you can rename these points however you want. Um, like we can turn these off and then you can right click and rename if you want but you can't name them the same thing so like I had to rename A to be able to call C A um, but so anyways that's kind of what I've been playing around with and you can change the colors if you go to object properties go to color and pick whatever color you want it to be so now that one is blue um, and it's working out really nicely from A to C and from A to B, but since we don't have the time from 
B to C, that's where I am struggling. And I don't even know like how much credit he'll give me just for doing this on here. So I'm just going to try to over explain everything that I'm doing. I mean, I'm sure he wants us to use those formulas, but my math is such a disaster. I feel like I'll be here all night. So 